Yo, what is going on guys? It is Ugly Face Gaming here and welcome to another Dragon Ball Super discussion. Now for me this is really really exciting because this is like the first time I am finally on time when it comes to actually talking about stuff to do with the Dragon Ball Super manga but before I do start I do want to say that this is complete leaks that have come out. A lot of people have been posting a couple of panels here and there that are complete leaks so if you don't want to get spoiled as to what exactly is going to be happening within the next chapter of Dragon Ball Super then I highly recommend not watching this video because I am going to kind of spoil some things I'm not going to go too much in depth because there's just so much speculation as to what exactly could that can be going to happen in terms of what was shown but to get some of the things out of the way yes we are continuing with the Goku versus Moro but in terms of the leaks that they actually showcased it looks like Moro actually is stronger than Ultra Instinct Goku because within these leaked panels we get to see that Moro is just dominating Goku. Goku is getting super super beat up so we could kind of just assume that in this chapter either the whole chapter is still going to be Goku and moral fighting and then the last part is going to be what i'm going to talk about right now or this is like the very beginning of the portion of the manga chapter and then this next part is going to be like the rest of it but what i do want to talk about is vegeta because vegeta has kind of been absent because of his training with the yard rats and doing all of that you know spirit energy training and whatnot but within these leaks, we do get to see that, yes, Vegeta is finally in the battlefield. He has charged up his key. He is, I believe, in Super Saiyan Blue, ready to face Moro, and even Moro is shocked. But how exactly did Vegeta get to Goku so fast? You guys guessed it. A lot of us <laughs> were speculating that this was going to happen. Vegeta learned instant transmission. Now within, finally within the Dragon Ball canon, Goku isn't the only one who knows how to use instant transmission. Isn't that insane? It literally took us from like the beginning of the Android Saga up to now for someone else to learn something like instant transmission and it is finally Vegeta which in my opinion I don't know why they gave it to Vegeta because Vegeta even stated that he himself doesn't even want instant transmission but I guess you know all of this dire situation kind of caused him to learn this technique to get to planet earth as fast as possible so yes that's why I'm kind of confused in terms of about this manga because we do get to see some portions of Moro beating up Goku and other parts of Vegeta being there against Moro so I don't know if the Goku fight is going to drag on for the whole chapter and then the finale of it is going to be Vegeta getting there or if Vegeta is going to get there midway within this chapter but this is just insane guys we finally have Vegeta in the battlefield what do you guys have to say about this are you ready to see Vegeta finally take his throne as the top character because Vegeta's always been the character who goes in first and gets beat up and waits for Goku to get there but for this one Goku seems to be getting beaten up and Vegeta looks like to be the hero. If Vegeta's the hero for this arc, I'm going to be so, so happy because I've been waiting for Vegeta to get his moment to shine. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think this is all cool that they're giving Vegeta finally the moment to shine? Or what do you think is going to happen? Do you think Vegeta's going to get beat up as well and they're going to have to bring in someone new to take down Moro? Leave all of your thoughts and opinions within the comment section below. Just a really, really quick update video because obviously there really isn't that much. There's only like four or five panels that were actually shown, but <laughs> Vegeta knows instant track transmission guys this is really really sick but if you actually do enjoy this type of content and would like to see more make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe for future content because i think i will be covering the next manga chapter who really knows but obviously vegeta with instant transmission i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to look into this manga but obviously thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace also a little quick thing that i didn't get to mention when i was actually talking about all of those spoiler stuff for dragon ball super uh i believe by the time this goes up it's going to be tuesday which the next day is going to be wednesday the 20th i believe which is when master ultra instinct goku comes out i am going to be using uh master ultra instinct goku in fighters playing the character learning the combos maybe doing some online ranked matches or public matches against other people over on twitch so if you guys would actually love to stop by and watch me use this character because i'm not the best at fighters but i love using new characters and seeing what's good and what isn't uh, if you guys would actually want to stop by and watch me play the game over on twitch i'll leave it right here on the screen right now twitch.tv slash captain huggy face or it is going to be a link in the description below so if you guys want to check out me playing this character or want to learn more about the character just want to talk about dragon ball or even play against me feel free to stop by on the stream i'm pretty sure i might be streaming almost the entire day when this character actually comes out on may 
20th on a Wednesday, I believe. So <laughs> hope to see you guys there and thank you for watching.